All right, this is the last portion of question number two. Uh, so the first part we have already answered. Um, the second part is about um, a problem that is similar to the first one, but it's a coin flip problem. So this one is pretty clear that it is a coin flip problem because you know we have a loaded coin that has a probability of 127 divided by 190 of landing on a head. So after flipping this loaded coin 23 times, what are the chances that are exactly 15 heads? So this question is, or this part of the question, is designed uh, exactly to kind of contrast the first part. So in this case, you know, if the selection of marble is considered an experiment, how many trials are in this experiment? So in this case, you know, the, it would be um, 23 trials because we're flipping the coins you know, 23 times. And I believe this is because of a copy and paste the problem um, because you know, there's no selection of marbles in this case. So that would be uh, flipping the coins is considered an experiment and there are 23 trials in this case. Ignoring the color of the marbles, considering each marble is unique amongst all the marbles, what is the number of outcomes for the first trial? Uh, so I copied and pasted you know, the question incorrectly um, because in this case it would be asking um, how many trials do we have per trial, how many outcomes do we have per trial? And the answer is two because we are flipping a coin, so there will be only two possible outcomes. It's either a head or a tail. Uh, part 10 is, are the outcomes from earlier trials of this experiment replaced in a later trial? The answer is yes, because you know, because a coin landed on the head does not mean that it cannot be landing on the head um, again. And then part 11, does the probability consider ordering of the selected marbles or coins in this case, your head or tail, significant? The answer is no, because we are only asking to see if there are exactly 15 heads out of the 23 coin flips. And then explain and compute why the probability of 15 heads in 23 coin flips. So this is a, um, based on the binomial theorem. Um, let me just kind of use a text editor to explain this part. This is the very last part. Um, where is my text editor? It probably opened it in some other window. Oh, there's a warning somewhere. So I am going to kind of do it the old fashioned way and use a text editor in my terminal to explain this one. All right, there we go. So the point of the last question, you know, uh, part 12 here, is based on the binomial theorem. So basically we calculate the combination of choosing uh, 15 out of uh, 23. Out of 23, we are choosing 15. And then this is multiplied by um, the probability of landing on the head to the power of uh, 15. So that would be 127 divided by 190. Okay, so let me get back to here. And this is raised to the power of 15 because these are accounting for the 15 uh, coin flips that land on the head. And then we also have to remember to multiply uh, the rest Okay, so I'm just going to use 190 di uh, minus 127, the, the whole thing divided by 190. And this would be raised to the power of 23 minus uh, 15, which is 8, you know, but I'm just going to spell out uh, the expression here. So this would be the correct answer for uh, part 12. So that's it. You know, this is a kind of a quick one. And that is... Um, all the explanations for the exam in fall 2023.